Hey everyone, Duke here, and today we're going over how to get the new exotic scout rifle, Wicked Implement. To start, you don't need to have done the fishing yourself to get the exotic, but someone on your fire team is going to need to have gotten the three new exotic fish, one from each of the three ponds in Sabathun's Throne World, Nessus, and the EDZ, and deposited them in the helm in order to have received the three blade parts that are going to be needed to unlock the secret mission. To complete this exotic mission, I would recommend one player run Divinity with the other two on linear fusion rifles, as this allowed for us to consistently have plenty of damage and time to spare. One player on Well of Radiance can also be extremely beneficial, but is not required. Outside of that, damage supers, as well as the usual 100 resilience, as well as boot surges for your heavy damage type of choice, is going to be helpful to both survive and output the damage that you need to complete the final boss of this mission. In order to get into this mission, load up the deep dive activity from the director and proceed as normal. There will be three hidden statues throughout the first two sections of the deep dive. The first is straight away after you choose your first buff and head into the water for the first time. Instead of taking the straight path, go right and look for a small, even more right path to follow, which will drop you down straight to the first statue. After completing the first encounter, there's going to be a door on the far left side if you're looking at where you would normally go that opens up. Inside of this small room will be your second statue to Duncan. And the third and final statue will be once you start dropping down towards the second encounter. You will need to drop down twice, but make sure you don't fall all the way down to the bottom. Before dropping down to the final ledge, when you see this pillar of coral, stay left and then hug left to curve around to the final statue. With all three of these statues activated, complete the second encounter of the deep dive activity as normal. Instead of going straight to the third encounter though, the door on the right side of the arena where you ran the Borrow Trauma mission will now be opened up. Here there will be three statues that each member of your fire team needs to dunk in to open up the next door and allow you into the secret exotic mission. Follow the path through the water until you get to a set of enemies. Defeat all these to open up the next path and continue to follow the water until you drop down into another room with enemies. This room will teach you the mechanic that you're going to need for the remainder of this mission. Basically, it boils down to kill three minotaurs to get the Deathly Sharp buff for 75 seconds, which will then allow you to damage a boss. In this room, you're just going to need to do a tiny bit of damage until the boss teleports away, and then opens up the door in front of you. Starting in this next room, you're going to have 10 minutes to complete the rest of this mission. Also, respawning will be restricted with a 15 second res timer, and if no one is alive at any point, you're going to wipe and be sent to orbit and need to restart everything. Also, if you run out of time on those 10 minutes, same thing will happen. You're going to wipe, and you're going to be sent to orbit and need to restart everything. These first two rooms are pretty simple. Just shoot the darkness node and kill all the enemies to open the next door. The first darkness node is right in front of you when you first walk in, while the second darkness node in the second section is underneath the staircase. Once you've cleared these first two rooms and are into the third room, you will be back with the first boss. You'll notice that the two sides of the rooms have the minotaurs behind locked doors, so you're going to need to let them out by shooting the darkness node hidden in the very middle of the room behind the right pillar. From here, kill all three of the minotaurs to get the deathly sharp buff once again, and proceed to melt this first boss. This first boss is not very tanky, and you can and should use all of your supers and as much heavy as you want in this room, as you're going to get a raid flag immediately after this section. After defeating this boss, clear out the rest of the room, and the next door in front of you will open, leading into the final boss room. This boss room is basically a giant rectangle with some maze-like sections on the outside of the main room. The mechanic for damaging the boss here is exactly the same as before. Kill three minotaurs, get the deathly sharp buff for 75 seconds, and this time though, the minotaurs will be hidden a bit more in three of the four corners of the maze part of the rectangle. While splitting your team up may theoretically be faster, or at least potentially faster, I preferred to have everyone run as a team and a big rectangle around the room to sweep the whole area. This allows for us to kill each individual enemy faster, as well as allows for the ability to immediately res teammates right away if someone does happen to go down, and that is very, very helpful as you don't want people down for a super long time, and it also stops you from having that chance to wipe, because again, if all three people go down and are dead at the same time, that's going to make you restart the entire deep dive from the beginning. 
Also, after a bit of time, all of the minotaurs you haven't defeated yet are going to show up as icons on your screen, which can help you find the last one or two minotaurs more quickly. After defeating the final minotaur, make your way back to the main middle room and start damaging the boss, as your 75 second timer will have already started the moment you kill the final minotaur. If you do have a well, placing it in one of the corners of this room can help so that when the boss slams down, you don't go flying around and can stay nicely in the well for its duration. If you don't have a well, I would recommend taking the 10 or 15 seconds it's going to take to defeat any of the adds in the middle so that you're only fighting the boss and not also fighting with all the enemies. Do also note that out of the four corners, make sure you don't place your well in the far right corner, at least if you consider the room from where you came from by the raid flag, as there is a, a taken pool here. And I accidentally did this once, and basically my well disappeared in like five seconds because apparently the damage it was taking was so much from that taken goop pool. So any of the other three corners are good. I'd recommend either the close right corner or the far left corner, as those are more like flat and give you a better angle. But even the close left corner is fine. It's just a little bit of a weird shape so you might not see the boss for a second but the boss is going to aggro you the boss is going to come to you so any of the other three corners totally good or again if you don't have a well just kill the ads and just kind of move as a group and try to stay a little bit more spread out then so that the boss isn't just tackling all of you together again that's only specifically for a well if you don't have a well don't be in these corners if you individually die during this part you will lose the buff and not be able to get it back until the next damage phase it's definitely much, much better to take that extra 10, 15, even 20 seconds of damage instead and just kill enemies than focus the last 40 or 50 seconds purely on damage than it is to try to only do damage, die right away, and then you just lose out on all of your damage. So really, again, if you have the well, you can focus on damage quick, but taking some time to kill some of those enemies, or if your well runs out, then taking some time to kill some enemies and then going back and doing a little bit more damage, very beneficial, play your life. After the buff runs out, you will repeat the process of needing to find the three minotaurs to get another damage phase. Do note that by the third rotation of DPS, the minotaurs should spawn in the middle room with you, and this allows for that final DPS phase or two to happen much, much faster and easier than the first ones. We even had one round where the minotaurs spawned in the middle on the second damage phase, so it may be triggered by getting the boss to a certain HP amount of around 30 or 40% HP remaining. Either way, using this strategy allowed for us to consistently have an extra two to three, even close to four minutes left on the timer after completions, so there should be more than enough time, even if you end up needing a fourth phase for damage for whatever reason. I hope this guide to acquiring the new Wicked Implement Scout Rifle was helpful. I do plan on doing more helps for this mission this week on my stream at twitch.tv slash dukeiscool, so come on by if you have questions or want a chance for me to help run you through it. And as always, thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day.